Well, Steve's done it again. He's caught a pike. That's a good size, this one. It didn't look as though. Uh, oh yeah, it's pretty big, isn't it? Must be ten. All on the line. Actually, yeah, it must be a good ten pounds that one. He just took on the bait. It looked as though you were hooked into a branch. I was thought I was hooked to a rope or something. Yeah. Well, we just put that pike straight back in there. We managed to hook it in the water and just let it go. But you can see what it's done to the bait. It must have been a good ten pound that pike, <laughs> and it certainly had some big teeth. Well, Phil's rod just went over there and it really took some line off but we suspect it's a pike yeah, it's again. very easy now. Still, it's not a bad start really. We'll see you in a minute. Yeah. See him. Yeah, it's Pike. <laughs> he's one last isn't he? He is, isn't he? It's about it's the same fish as I just caught. <laughs> um, what yeah, he's given up and had enough I think, hasn't he? Yeah, one of the hooks has gone through there. Hang on, one more hook. <laughs> a lot of pike along here. <laughs> there must be, must be. This is how it works. That clips into there, so it dives down at that angle. Yeah. And when a fish takes, it's free to slide up and down the lane. Yeah, so you can get a good depth without having so much weight on. Yeah, Very useful. Thing. Well, we've just got this pike out, and it took my bait about 20 feet down, and uh, they don't fight very well. But it's a lovely fish. It must be 12 pounds, isn't it? Yeah. Let's have a look at his mouth there, Phil. Just turn him around a bit. <laughs> Yeah, he's got some he's a, he's clunk in deep. teeth. Well, I'll just pull him straight back. Go on then. He's a right porker, isn't he? He is, isn't he? Look at that. 